Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Hakuna I love the Lord as my personal Savior. I take this opportunity to welcome you in today's fellowship and I hope we shall be blessed together. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we bow before your presence this, this day, O oh God. We pray that your presence be with us. Jehovah, King of glory, as you speak to us, we welcome your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Uh, I want to invite you that the Lord may speak to us and the book that we are going to read is Mika chapter 7 verse 8 and we are going to lead by the grace of God. Don't rejoice over me, my enemy. When I fall, I will rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be my right. I stand to encourage you, brother, you, you listener of today's fellowship, and I want to encourage you today that the problems that you are facing, they are not permanent. The problems that you are going today, they are not permanent. And Mika stood and speak and he said, he told his enemies, don't rejoice over me, my enemies. Though I'm foreign, I'm raising again. I stand to declare and decree to somebody who has foreign, who is feeling as if the end has come unto her life. I want to declare to you that you are raising again in Jesus' name. Let no enemy rejoice over your downfall because there is a God who is going to raise you for his own glory. He is going to raise you and also to uphold you. No situation that is permanent. Only God that is permanent in our lives. So dear listener, today we are facing difficult times as families, as a church, as a nation, and also the whole world because of the COVID-19. This pandemic it is our enemy today. And it has caused distress, pain, sorrows, hopelessness, poverty, and also death to us. I start today to make a declaration that this pain, this distress, this state of hopelessness, it is not permanent. All these things are coming to an end because there is a God who is going to raise you again, who is going to raise the church once again. There is a God who is to raise the nation once again. Today, the economy of our nation, our businesses, our schools, jobs, we want to declare today that they are going to revive because there is a God whom we trust, the almighty God, who keeps his promises to his people. May the Lord come for us. So don't be disappointed, but know there is a God who is working behind our curtains for the things that we are going through. Today, even if it seems as if we are in darkness of COVID-19, the Lord remains our right. The Lord is light to this nation. The Lord is light to your family. The Lord is light to his church. Our prayer today is that the Lord may shed his light to your family, to our family, to the church of Christ, and to scatter the enemy for us. In Psalm 68, verse 1, the Bible says, God arise, let his enemy be scattered. 
It's our declaration today that may the Lord arise and scatter enemies of your children and your family. May the Lord arise and scatter the enemy of the church. May the Lord arise and scatter every kind of sickness. It doesn't matter. Even the COVID-19 is inclusive that the Lord has power to scatter it, to crush it in Jesus' name. May the Lord arise and scatter all those who plan evil for your family. May the Lord arise and scatter all those who plan evil for the church. May the Lord arise and scatter every darkness in your life in Jesus' name. I, I make a declaration that the Lord will crush even the enemy of COVID-19 because it is powerless in the eyes of our God. May the Lord deliver our children, our family from the hearts of the evil men. Every evil plan over your family may be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit of God. Our God is faithful. Our God is loving. He is a caring God. When we go to Psalm 145, verse 14, the Bible says, The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. It is my prayer today that may the Lord uphold someone who is feeling weak, who is fainting, who is disappointed and bowed down by the tough situations in life. May the Lord uphold you. You are there, you are watching me. God knows and sees your situation. The Bible says he is, has the power to uphold you. May he uphold you in Jesus' name. May the Lord uphold your children and the family from falling. Because he is a faithful God, he is a miracle-working God. May the Lord uphold the church from falling and strengthen its people. A time has come that the church, that the church is going through oppression. May the Lord remove every oppression from the church in Jesus' name. May the Lord raise all people that have been pulled down by sickness and infirmities in Jesus' name. Our God is faithful. You who is feeling as if your head has come, there is a God for you today. There is God to strengthen you. There is God who speaks hope unto you. You, feel, you are feeling that things are not working as you may think they should. There is a God for you. May the Lord help you. May the Lord uphold you. May the Lord fight for your family. May the Lord fight for your children. May he embrace them because he is a faithful God. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you. You have spoken unto us. May you uphold your people. May you, Jehovah, speak a word to encourage them. Jehovah, King of glory, you have said that you are the light of our paths. We thank you. We honor you because you are walking with us. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen.